this is Minecraft. An infinite world full of gorgeous biomes and endless possibilities. But what if I took all of that and condensed it into one gigantic planet floating through space? All in Minecraft hardcore. Now tell me, what could possibly go wrong? Absolutely nothing. So this idea is actually pretty simple. This is the end dimension, which I transformed into a giant moon base. It would make perfect sense that while standing on the moon, I could see the overworld, aka the earth. Well, unless the earth is flat, but that's a conversation for a different day. Let's get to work. Okay, so first I gotta figure out how big the planet is gonna be. And for that, we're gonna use a giant dirt outline. Thank you very much. Now the question is, where should the earth go? go. I'm gonna say probably somewhere out this direction. I guess we don't like that idea. Maybe it should go somewhere else. Hey, buddy, can you not be so mad today? I kind of got a whole video to do here. Well, this is a very scary activity. What's the worst that could happen? I fall in the void and lose my world forever? Ah, no big deal. And let's see how it looks. Um, I think that's big enough. You see, I got this whole solar system thing going on here. So I want to make sure they're all about the same size. I probably should have planned this a little bit better. But too late now. Let's just wing it. Whee! Okay, so with the outline out of the way, it's now time to turn that outline into a real planet. And don't you guys worry, because as always, Farzi has an amazing idea. And this guy agrees. Everybody agrees. So everybody knows about 70% of the Earth is actually made of water. So I say we build the entire planet out of water and then add in all the land later on. I don't know if that water fact is true, but I don't care. It sounds good to me. Kids, stay in school. So what block looks the most like water? Well, besides actual water. I don't think that would work very well. Eh, nah. Nope. Ugh. Huh, you know what? Light blue concrete is kind of nice. It's all also extraordinarily annoying to collect, but I mean, I like it, so let's do it. Oh, hello there, buddy. How you doing? Now tell me, do you have any light blue concrete? No. You don't. Oh no, he despawned. Oh, so tragic. Well, it looks like we gotta get our concrete the old fashioned way. Let me just grab some of these and let's begin Operation Farm Stuff. We'll workshop the name. But the point is we need a ridiculous amount of sand, gravel, and blue dye. Target acquired. Sorry, gentlemen. I got business to attend to. Can you please knock it off? I am building a planet for all of us to live on. Well, maybe not those guys, but you get the point. Sand, check. Oh, snap, guys, look, it's one of my air balloons. Funny seeing you here. I think that just gave me my next viral video idea. I built an air balloon planet in Minecraft Hardcore. No. One billion views. That might also need some workshopping. Now let's grab some of this gravel down here. Oh, yeah, so much gravel. Nom, 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 nom. That was kind of cringe. This is odd. If I didn't know any better, I'd say there's a secret base down here. Eh, maybe not. Unless a secret walkway to... Nowhere. Okay, never mind. Carrying on. And of course, the last ingredient is the blue dye, which I can get from these beautiful blue flowers. Oh, I actually need light blue dye. BRB. <laughs> And that is how you do it. Okay, it's planet time. Okay, so we gotta turn this giant circle into a three-dimensional sphere. So let's fly up here and hopefully stick the landing, yes. And very simply, we're gonna make a nice little even base here along the bottom. And get rid of some of this, put some more of this in here, add a little more of that, and that is our base. Now we just continuously make this ring bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a gigantic circle. This might take a while. This block is literally the same color as the Smurfs. Another viral video idea. I built the Smurfs planet in Minecraft Hardcore. No. Oh, my ideas are so bad. Oh? Well, it appears we're all out of concrete. Once again, I probably should have planned a little bit better. Give me just one second. And if you want to help ease the pain of this incredible resource grind, please subscribe and hit the bell. Oh, it's so boring. But after grinding many shulker boxes full of materials, I took them all and built up the most amazing blue planet ever. And it looks good? Yeah, I think I like that. I mean, I better like that. I'm not going to redo that whole thing because that took about six hours to 
do. Like, I needed so much concrete that I actually had to make a little mini generator down here for it. Which, by the way, works flawlessly, but still very time-consuming. But carrying on, I think it's time to go add some continents to that bad boy. So my first idea was to recreate the real-life Earth continent. Europe, Asia, Ohio, Africa. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But then I had a much better idea. I think it'd be super cool if we made a continent for every single biome in Minecraft. It might be a lot of work, but it's gonna be so worth it. Well, at least I hope so. So step one is I gotta figure out what biomes I wanna actually put on this planet. And oh, you guys are so lucky because I have the perfect place to go get some inspiration. Introducing Farzee's Biome Museum, which is exactly how it sounds. A giant museum full of different biomes. So allow me to go get inspired. Hmm. Exquisite. Ah, fantastic. Indubitably. That's a fancy person word, right? Okay, I'm good to go. Let us begin the biome adventure. So the first continent I want to make is the North Pole, aka the snow biome. So we're going to need quite a lot of snow and a little bit of this packed ice. Hmm. Now what else can I use in this build? Eh? Nah, I don't think he would fit. Oh, hello there. Sorry to intrude here, but I just got a really good idea. What? What if I put some little mini structures on each of these biomes, like for the snow biome and igloo? Okay, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Is that water? Oh no, the villagers! Are you okay? Oh, you're fine. Da 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 Oh no, he's stuck in the water. How did that possibly happen? I gotta go. Okay, so the protocol for this is actually pretty simple. I fly up here to my new planet. I tear apart all these blocks that I worked oh so hard to collect, and I replace them with snow and ice. There must have been a more efficient way to do this thing. But in the words of famous Swedish pilot Sven Gutenberg, let's just wing it. I just completely made that guy up. There's no Sven Gutenberg. Okay, we got the snowy top. We got the ice pond in the middle. Let's add some mini spruce trees. And let's add a little igloo right over here. And it looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Oh, agree to disagree. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up, we're gonna make a plains biome continent. I think this is the most iconic biome in Minecraft. So we got it included. So I'm gonna take some of this grass. Definitely gonna need some oak trees. Thank you. And for a structure, giant cow. No, that's not it. Or maybe a village. That sounds like a better idea. What the heck is... Go you guys can enjoy your communal bath together. I'm just gonna get out of here. Okay, so we got the grass and these cute little trees, which are surprisingly awkward to place down at this angle. But the question is, how do I make a village there without making it too big? Maybe a little mini model like this? this? You know, that's actually not bad at all. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but for what we're working with, I like it. And let's just sprinkle a little nature in here. Bro, I literally hate all these endermen. Can you guys please get out of the way? Minecraft needs to add a potion of get the heck away from me. And really quick, I have one final idea. Any Minecraft player knows these planes usually contain a nice big cave. Hello there. <laughs> But you guys see where I'm going with this. Oh, hello there. Well, that's a much cooler idea. A cute little amethyst geode. Talk about the attention to detail. We got the clusters. We got the calcite. We got the weird enderman in the corner staring at me. Gotta go. But so far, so good. Now for our next biome, I have a weirdly specific request. I want to build a biome that is not green. Because as you can see, there's a lot of green in Minecraft. And I want this planet to be as colorful as possible. And that's exactly why I'm going to build a desert continent. Well, it's not very colorful, but it's not green. And that's all that matters, right? So we're definitely gonna want sand, a little bit of sandstone, dead bushes. Uh, what tool breaks dead bushes? I'm gonna guess the answer is shears. And for that, I need some iron. And of course, cacti. On we go. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, a desert temple might fit right into our planet. Yeah, I like that. But first, what do we got for loot? Aw, I think I've been down here before. Or have I? Ugh. Yep, I have. Okay, I think I uncovered our first planet-related issue. So when a plant grows, it grows in the up direction. Because, like, science and stuff. But since the desert continent is on the side of the planet, their up is actually my left. So the cacti would have to grow to the left 
to be there up and not they're up to be there up. Does that make any sense? No. Long story short, we gotta make some fake cacti instead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! This is kinda difficult. Okay, decent. And last but not least, let's make the desert temple. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely adorable. And the best part about it is the loot inside, which should be... One moment, please. A Bane of Arthropod's book. Ah, uh, that joke was not worth the 20 minutes of enchanting. But the desert looks absolutely magnificent. But continuing on with our biome continent, I decided to make a massive jungle covered in moss, leaves, and of course, a mini jungle temple. Guys, I think I'm addicted to making mini Minecraft structures. I'm literally having so much fun with these. And after that, I made a dark oak biome, which is basically a super dense forest with a ton of cool mushroom trees. But I gotta say, this thing is coming out a lot better than I expected it to. But before we carry on, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would get the rarest pet in Minecraft, the blue axolotl. And you guys absolutely smashed it. So unfortunately for me, I have a long journey ahead of me. Oh, why'd I agree to this? Any chance you got a blue axolotl in there? No, you don't. Okay, let's get this thing over with. So for those who don't know, the only way to get a blue axolotl is by bringing Breeding axolotls and just getting lucky. Like 1 in 1200 kind of lucky. So yeah, let's go find some axolotls and start this very fun process. I'm looking for a lush cave. That's a not great sign. And I think, yup, that is an azalea tree. Which means there's a lush cave down here somewhere. That kind of scared me. Oh, I hate the thunder. But okay, I think we found a lush cave. Oh, axolotls. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, oh wait. That's just tropical fish. You kind of look like Patrick Star. Mine. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. And since we need tropical fish to breed axolotls, I'm gonna post up right around here. Well, all right, let's start this party. Can we get it first try? No. Ah, oh, dang it. So I spent the entire rest of my night just breeding axolotls for hours and hours. And as you can probably tell from the face cam, I was getting really tired. So tired in the fact that I actually kind of fell asleep. But after waking back up, I turned off my lights and my camera and then continued the grind. It's currently 2 a.m., so I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> okay, rise and shine, let's get back to work. I have a feeling that today is gonna be the day. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're gonna get one today. I mean, we could if we just sat here all day, but I got a planet to build. So unfortunately, I'm going to say we failed this challenge. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. All right, don't rub it in. Well, I am sad. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will travel to the Outer End Islands and try and survive with no items. And I can assure you, Farzee is not failing two challenges in a row. But Carrie, Carrying on, let's get back to our planet. Right after I grab some chicken. And on we go. So at this point, I want to tackle the more exotic Minecraft biomes. Places like the Mesa biome with terracotta, red sand, and maybe even a mine shaft. Aw, uh, yeah. Then a mangrove swamp filled up with mud and mangrove trees. Hey, check it out, little mini frogs. It may seem stupid, but I kind of like them. That could have been very bad. I'm just gonna build a big safety net under the planet. Just to be safe. Well, now that we're safe to build on the lower part of the planet, why don't we make a continent for the lowest place in Minecraft, which is the nether. But the question is, what should I actually put in this continent? I mean, obviously netherrack, possibly some lava or some lava substitute. I don't know. I feel like real lava might be a bad idea. And how could I forget some quartz ore? I'm actually really excited for this one. <laughs> Relax. I'm sorry, I can't take you with me. Aw, that was kind of sad. Moving on. And as I journey back to the planet, I do want to remind you guys that I am launching a public Minecraft server pretty soon. So if you want to stay up to date, please join my Discord server. Uh, zombie, please stop. I'm trying to do an ad here. The link is in my description. Okay, so I guess we can just break out the bottom bit like this. Maybe this will be a little bit faster. Uh, I don't think it worked. I'm just gonna put this thing on my head. Um, the pumpkin didn't really help there. Didn't help at all. Oh my gosh. Now I just gotta build a massive netherrack cave. Which 
which is probably gonna take me a while, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the video. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's perfect, but here we are. It's just a giant netherrack cave with some fake lava around the place, and of course, a lot of these quartz we talked about. But from far away, I think it is more than good enough. On to the next biome. Okay, I'm gonna save you some time here. After making the nether, I built four more continents. But to be honest, it was a lot of just boring, tedious work. So allow me to summarize. I built two adorable mushroom islands, then a snowy spruce forest, a really cool ice spikes biome, and to top it off, I built a deep ocean with a cool ocean monument right in the middle of it. Okay, this thing is looking really good, but I still think we can probably fit like one more continent somewhere on here. Like right down here. And I probably have my best idea yet. I'm thinking we make a giant ravine and inside the ravine have like one of these giant mega deep slate caves. And we can have some of this stuff. What's it called again? Dripstone. I totally forgot the name of that, but I think that would look pretty sweet. I do gotta say though, this project has been one of the most intense things I've ever done in Minecraft. Like I am absolutely exhausted right now, but we shall complete this final continent. So let me just sneak back inside the planet. Whoa, this looks weird on the inside. Oh my gosh. And let's just pop maybe over here and just bust a big hole out. I don't even want to know how many blue concrete blocks I just lost in the void. Oh, wait a second. This is definitely not the right spot for this. It was supposed to go over there. Ah, uh, my bad. Much better. And now we simply take our deep slate and make a nice big cave. Oh, bruh. I forgot you could turn them different directions. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> ah, whatever. Who cares? And to top it all off, we're gonna sprinkle in some of these deep slate ores and of course some dripstone. And that is how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can officially say without any further ado, this planet is 100% complete. Uh, hold that thought. Now we're all done. That's enough work for me this week. Oh man, Broderick, what's going on? Oh, okay. I don't know where he's going. I just gotta say, dude, I don't know how you worked in space for all those months. I am not cut out for that kind of work. But that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.